All right, guys, what's up, man? My name is JB Demogo, and this is Demogo View, where we keep it real, keep it 100. Everything that comes out of my mouth is the truth, and nothing but truth to help me, God. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so right now. So check this out. Jay-Z finally speaks on Lil Wayne not being able to perform at the Super Bowl in Louisiana. Now, a lot of people are believing the bullshit he's selling. The BS that he is selling. Listen to me. Rock Nation is in charge of staging that show. Okay? Rock Nation. And who is the owner? Who is the CEO of Rock Nation? It's Jay-Z. Now, Jay-Z comes out and say that he has no control over who performs on that stage. He has no control over who performs on that stage. He says that it's the city that the, 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 the Super Bowl will be hosted. They get to choose who performs on that stage or who is the headliner. Please, let's take it back to the year that Dre performed, Eminem performed, 50 Cent performed. They hired Dre to come be the headliner. Now, Dre brought out Snoop, Eminem, and Eminem brought out 50 Cent. Behind the scenes, Jay-Z didn't want 50 Cent to perform. But Eminem was like, if 50 ain't performing, then I'm not performing. So right there and there, if Jay-Z tried to stop Eminem from bringing... 50 Cent on stage and because Eminem was so firm, he was able to get his way. That means the same Jay-Z has the influence to decide who will be performing. So guys, let's stop the BS. People come out and give, give a statement. Oh, I'm not part of it. It is the city gets to choose. My guy, Eminem, I mean, NFL chose you because of a reason. They chose you that you have the brain. You have the idea. Your company can handle it. You are in charge of Rock Nation. You choose who gets to perform. If the city had chose Flavor Flav, would you have let him perform? If the city had chose someone who wasn't worthy would you have said, okay, the city chose this person, so we're going to let this per person perform? No, you're trying to put the best show out there. So if you felt, if you felt that Kendrick is the right person to perform that night, just be firm and stand on your, toe, on, on your 10 toes and let the, the public know that that was your decision, that was your call. Don't put it on the city. Where is the proof? Where is the stats where the city had to choose? Where the city voted that, you know what? We want Kendrick. Where is the proof? Jay-Z Jay has been doing a lot of shit behind the scenes in, in, in this industry. There are so many people who collaborated with Beyonce and they could never perform on the stage with Beyonce because Jay-Z didn't want it to happen. Sean Paul is one of them. So let's not be carried away by the statement he put out there that it is the city that um, is in charge of who performs on that stage. Please. It is so sad hearing Lil Wayne. I was actually thinking that, you know, this whole thing was just a publicity stunt. He would actually perform on the stage. But he finally dropped a video and this dude is broken from this whole thing. Because after putting his city on the map, he was thinking that, you know, with all the work that he's put in. And this this whole, uh, what do you call it? The Super Bowl being, being played in his hometown. He was thinking that he would get the chance to perform. Which he's, he's, he's definitely, he's definitely, has put, he's definitely put, he's definitely put in the work that he deserves to be on that stage. Now, a lot of people are talking about how, you know, Wayne has been on a decline. Wayne, Wayne is, you know, Wayne is, up. I mean, he hasn't been that re relevant in the past maybe 10 years. 
Usher hasn't been relevant, but Usher got to perform. Usher got to perform. So if you're really looking for a rapper to be the headliner, who has more work? Who has more, who has put in more work than Lil Wayne? So please, let's cut the bullshit and, and just say it as it is, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep it 100 because there's so much foolery in this whole industry. But I understand though, if it makes, if it doesn't make, you know, if, it, if they don't make money, then it doesn't make sense. So they feel like, you know what, Kendrick is the hottest rapper out there at the moment. Let's put him out there. Jay-Z can't stand the fact that if Lil Wayne brings out Nicki Minaj and Drake, that will make Birdman look good because Birdman is the one who started the whole thing. Birdman is the one who put Lil Wayne on. So Birdman will be looked at as, and definitely Lil Wayne would have brought out Birdman. And one thing you guys have to understand is that there was a time when Jay-Z reached out to Drake and asked him to at least join title where he would give him 1% of all the streaming um, uh, revenue. And, and, and Drake was like, nah, Apple is offering more than that. So Drake turned him down. So this dude is he has been petty throughout the whole throughout his whole career. So we, we know what he's capable of. We know that what, what he could possibly do behind the scenes to, you know what I'm saying, end your career and all that. So I know it's a personal thing. If Jay-Z wanted Lil Wayne on that platform performing, let Lil Wayne would have been performing. Simple. He could have made that call. So please, let's stop the bullshit. Stop believing what. You know, people just put out there, oh, I wasn't part of it. It's the city that chose him. That's what you want to believe. That's why you that's why you running with it. She already know what it is, man. My name is JB Demogul, and this is Demogul View. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel, all right? Have a wonderful day. Peace.